let's talk about the responsiveness of layouts in different screen sizes. You can visit an Experience Builder app from any devices with internet. There are a variety of devices with various screen sizes on the market. So how Experience Builder app can respond to the devices? Experience Builder categorize all screen size into three types, large, medium, and small. And Experience Builder provides most common sizes for each type. Large screen modes usually correspond to desktop devices. Medium corresponds to devices like tablets. And the small modes are the sizes for the mobile devices. In Experience Builder, you can turn to different screen modes to view and adjust the app presentation in those screen sizes. Usually, when switching from large screen to medium or small screen, the layout and the content display may need an adjustment for better rendering. Experience Builder provides two adjust modes, Auto and Custom. While in Auto mode, layouts are transformed automatically. Widget in fixed layout will be adjusted by scale if it uses relative size and position. A row of widgets will be transformed into column. Because of the limited space horizontally in the small screen, things will be transformed to organize vertically. While in custom mode, you can add your own touch to adjust the widgets manually. You may adjust certain widgets position or size to fit the smaller screen. When you do customization in medium or small screen modes, Experience Builder app remembers the customization. So when you launch the app in the different screen size, it can be responsive. Let's see a demo. In a fixed layout, if you switch to different size mode, the layout will be scaled up or scaled down. For example, when you launch the app, and uh, if you resize the browser, the layout will be scaled up and down. It's very simple. If you want to change the layout in a size mode, you can click the custom button. The widget is shared between all size modes. So if you want to delete a widget, there will be a warning dialog. If you choose to delete it, the widget will be deleted from all size modes. So we provide another option. You can pend in the, this widget. And then you can add a new image to replace the pended one. Then save it, save the app, and launch it again. When you resize the browser, you will find the image will be replaced in small size mode. If you don't like your customization, you can turn to auto again. For a row layout, when you switch from large mode to medium mode, the row is scaled down. But if you switch to small size mode, the row will be turned into a column. Let's start a browser and resize it to see what happened. When you resize the browser, the row first scaled down, then turned into a column. Now let's see how to customize a row layout. Last time we have showed you how to replace an image. Now we will change the layout. You can drag to change the order of the image, then save the app and run it again. This time, when you resize the window to small size mode, the cat image will be the first one.
different screen types has different responsive rules. We have three types of screen. First, with floating panel. Second, with docked panel. And the last has no panel. When you switch to medium size mode, the screen will be scaled down. When you switch to small size mode, the screen behaves differently. Let's launch the app to see it more clearly. When in large size mode, the screen behaves normally. The floating panel, the docked panel, and the no panel. When you resize to small size mode, the floating panel will take the full width and the main panel keeps the same. For docked panel, the main panel stays at the top of the screen and the panel screws at the bottom. The screen with no panel scrolls as normally. Mm -hmm.